Hey guys, I got asked a couple questions uh, by one of my subscribers, and I figured they're, they're pretty pertinent questions, and so I figured that I would answer them in this fashion versus re responding on YouTube, because I think this is something that you guys would all want to know. Um, so first question is, if you do your four years active, right, and you go to your, and you're in your inactive time, so you're out of the Marine Corps, you're back home, but you technically still have an inactive period. For those of you who don't know, it's four years. Um, Any time that you're in the delayed entry program, gets rid of that, takes away. So if you're in the delayed entry program for six months, that's six months of inactive time that you don't have to do after, if that makes sense. So you have an eight-year commitment when you sign up. So if you do five years active, if your contract is just five years, then you'll have three years of inactive. Make sense? Okay. So his question was, once you go inactive, is it possible or difficult to go active again? The answer is yes, it is possible, and yes, it is difficult. They, especially right now, if, if things were to kick off, like you, know, you get out and all of a sudden World War Three fucking goes, you won't have a problem with it. But right now, where the numbers that they need are not very high, it is quite tough to get in. Um, and there's no guarantee that you will get in. So definitely at the end of your, when you're getting towards the end of your four years, make sure you really consider if you want to re-enlist and just keep going, because it's much easier that way because you're already in, it's just a lot smoother of a process for them. So just know that. Yeah, second question. If you get out and you decide you want to go back in later, essentially, do you have to go to boot camp again? No. Once you go to Marine Corps boot camp and you graduate and you're done, you're done. You never have to do it again. If you, if you join, like, say, the Army first, and then you want to go to Marine Corps boot camp, or you want to join and become a Marine, then you have to go through Marine Corps boot camp. But it doesn't work the other way. So if you go to Marine Corps boot camp and then you decide to go join the Navy or the Air Force, or the Army after, you do not have to do their boot camps. You'll have to go to, you know, your MOS school, whatever job that you're going to do, but you won't have to do the boot camp again. The Marine Corps is special like that. So, yeah. And so the third question is, will you lose rank uh, when you get out and like when you're trying to come back in? So if you get out as a sergeant, are you guaranteed to go back in as a sergeant if you are able to go from inactive too active, you know, down the road? The answer is no. It's not guaranteed. Most likely, you will lose a rank, at least one. I've heard of guys losing two, so they go from sergeant, they come back in as a lance. And if that's not something you want to do, then don't join back up. But that is the risk because the Marine Corps has a quota for, you know, they can have this many sergeants, this many corporals, this many lance corporals. And you coming back in, you're kind of bottom of the totem pole in terms of priority. Uh, they will basically, they, they will keep the active guys you know, as their rank, and they'll promote them ahead of keep letting you keep your rank, if that makes sense. So, yeah. All right, guys. As always, if you have any questions, concerns, comments, hit me up. I'll do my best to answer it, as always. And I'll see you later. Simplify.